Okay, I think it's day three of the upload challenge. I'm trying. So about a year ago, I bought the Rode Wireless Go 2 and didn't try it out till recently. And you'll see in a minute, I went in my backyard, very non-technical overview of the Wireless Go 2 that I just wanted to try out because I hadn't tried it. So took it in the backyard and I also tried it with a couple lavalier mics. Simple overview, just what sounds good to my ears. Here we go, let's go to the backyard. Hey everyone, it's Paul Riopel. Welcome back to the Riopel room, outside. You're well aware of the age old burning question, what can you do with the Rode Wireless Go 2? Can you use the Rode Wireless Go 2 while picking up dog poop? I'm here to solve the mystery once and for all. Yes, you can. So I'm going to use the Rode Wireless Go 2. I'm going to pick up Louie's dog poop. If you haven't met Louie, Louie is my dog. And uh, let's go do it. This is a very technical demonstration, I'll have you know. So I've got the Wireless Go 2 transmitter right here, one right here, and I'm probably making a bunch of noise touching it, but it's just a transmitter with the built-in mic that it has, and I've got the receiver attached to my Galaxy, my smartphone, Samsung Galaxy over there. I will try it with some lavalier mics as well. Right now I'm just using the Rode Wireless Go transmitter tucked into my shirt. And by the way, there's some mosquito action going on, so that's why I'm dressed like this horrible long sleeve thing going on because I've been getting some bites and we don't want that to happen. So it's a pretty big backyard, too big, too big, a lot of work. And it's finally getting cool enough in this Arizona weather to start doing some work back here. And it needs work, trust me. But let's go test out this wireless mic. Let's go. I'm just gonna adjust this for a minute, okay. Louie's favorite place to poop is way back there. So, let's see how we go. So that, first of all, I'm about 10 feet away right here. Let's see, keep going. Like I said, it's a pretty big backyard. And I would say, all the way back here, this is probably a good 80 feet away. Whoops, sorry for the noise there. So about 80 feet away, and again, this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. There's actually two transmitters that come with it. I'm just using one. Can you see me? I'm waving, hi. Not a lot of dog poop right now, but there's some. Let's just get this going. And then there's a dog next door. You can hear him saying hello. Pretty slow dog poop day, I must say. I think we're good. So like I said, here's 80 feet away. And uh, let's come closer. Let's see how the reception is. Probably sounds pretty good. Probably no cutout. We're hoping. And uh, if we get closer, again, about 20 feet away here. 10 feet away here. So yeah, let's try it with some lav mics that I can attach to the transmitter right here. Let's go. By the way, I should mention, if you really want a much more technical than the wonderfully technical review I just did, um, there's, there actually are better technical reviews out there. You can check with uh, Jev and Dovey. You can check with Curtis Judd. You can check with DSLR video shooter. And there's just a ton of really technical reviews of the World Wireless Go 2. It's a great wireless option for shooting video, definitely. So let's try it with the lab mics. So now I've got a lav mic called the Relicart. And so the lav mic is attached to the transmitter, which I'm holding, have in my pocket with a wire kind of going down the back of my shirt into my pocket. But let's see how it sounds. I've literally never tried this one. So you're hearing 
th th this for the first time as I am. And uh, so this is, a, again, this is called Relicart Lav Mic. Let's see how it works going far away. So here we are. Here's the Relicart. Relicart Lav Mic. So again, about 80 feet away from the camera. There's bees over here. I hear them buzzing around. Careful, careful. Okay, so I'm just hoping no mosquitoes around here. Okay, getting closer. And we're about 30 feet away, about 20 feet away, 10 feet away. And here I am. So that's the relic art. Got one more lav mic to check out. Let's do it. Okay. So now, third mic test. This is actually the second lav mic, which is still connected to the Rode Wireless Go 2 transmitter, but I'm running the cord down the shirt into the transmitter. So a little bit of a cord with this one and the last one still hidden. And again, I haven't heard these at all. So this will be the first I hear it when I'm playing this back. But uh, this is a the Sony ECM LV1. I should say that both these lav mics are budget friendly. Okay, so, but let's try taking a walk. Okay. About 30 feet away. Here we go. No more dog poop. This is the Sony ECM LV1 lavalier microphone right here. As I said, you'll find a lot more technical reviews out there, but this is just to give you a quick overview of how they work and how they sound. And uh, so that's it, 80 feet away. Make the trek back, cross the yard to the phone. And, and as I said before, these are, I'm, I'm recording this with my smartphone. The Rode Wireless Go receiver is connected to the phone and here we go. And this Sony lav mic is connected to the Rode Wireless Go transmitter that's sitting in my pocket right now. So there you go. You heard the Rode Wireless Go 2 by itself with its own transmitter and own built-in mic. Then you had the lav mic from, from Relicart and the lav mic from Sony called the Sony ECM LV1. Hey, thanks for using the Real Power Room. We'll catch you later.